Lubaba TV. One of the most difficult time in raising chicken is through the first way. This is where chicks are more exposed to different dangers which might hinder them to reach their maturity age. We already know that a nutrient that a chick gets from its egg yolk can only ensure its sustainability for 24 hours. And from there then a farmer or a, a quite keeper must take care of those chicks so that they can reach maturity. So in today's session, I want to share some few tips that will help you reduce the death rate from these first days and if possible, zero death of your chicks. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell so as to be updated every time when you put new videos. But it's better also to share it to your friends and fellow so as they can also learn and get new knowledge from our channel. First and important thing is to buy quality chicks from the quality supplier. We already know that we are there are a lot of different suppliers who supply these kind of chicks, different kind of chicks. So you are the farmer. The first and important thing you must consider: looking those suppliers, knowing what they provide, and choosing the best quality chicks. Because when you have you have no quality chicks, they cannot sustain in different calamities which might occur so this is very important things not don't just buy because you have seen somebody selling or you have seen somewhere in order to create a sustainable poultry farming project you must be selective when choosing chicks to grow because every success or end every failure start from this point that is the first and important thing that you must consider before anything and second thing that you must consider is growing your chicks into the brooder. Many of the farmers in different areas, they don't consider this because they don't see if it's important. But the most important issue is also mini growing your chicks into a brooder in the first few weeks. Because when you grow them into a brooder, first it ensures the security, but also it ensures the heating because when they are just far, it's very difficult to provide this, uh, to provide enough heat for them. So within when you grow them in a brooder, it's very easy heat to our chicks. But also when you grow in a brooder, it's very easy for you to monitor. Let's take an example: a person who grows the chicks in a big room. It's very difficult to know every chick how it's going on. But when it's in a small brooder, it's very easy. You to monitor and know the condition of every chick when you come to book comparing from the previous condition and the current co position so that is one of the important issue considering the brooder and the other thing is maintaining the constant heat one of the things that kills a lot the chicks is cold chicks cannot bear the coldness so make sure you provide Heat. There are a lot of sources of heat that you can provide. Other they are they are using lamps, other they are using different means of of providing heat. But other important issue also is maintaining the constant heat, not overheating. When it's overheated, then it's a it's a problem, and when it's under heat, also it's also a problem. So make sure you provide adequate and constant heat to your chick and how will you know that it's overheated or underheated when you see your chicks are going far away from the heat source it means the heat is very high so you must consider reducing them but if you see the chicks are coming very close to the heat source it means that heat source it doesn't enough or it does not enough to provide the adequate heat so you must consider adding more heating that is the most easiest way to monitor the heating in your chicks brooder 
And another issue is timely vaccination. We know that a lot of chicken diseases they come from virus and you also know that diseases which are caused by virus are not curable so you must know that it's very important to provide vaccine at a required time make sure if it's the day to provide a certain vaccine then make it don't wait till the disease comes that is a very important issue from the first day up to the maturity of your chickens Make sure you provide and you don't miss providing them required vaccine. And last issue is about feeding. Before bringing or buying your chicks, make sure that you can afford the feeding. And you know the system of feeding your chickens. When it's time to provide the starter, then do it. When it's time to provide grower, then do it. And when it's time to provide finisher feeds, then do it. Don't just wait or just eat grow your chicks if you don't know what to provide to them so those are the important issues that you must consider when you want to reduce the death rate in your poultry farming project hope you got something and if you have something to share then it's your time you can comment there and within a required time we can answer you or even get your knowledge from you my name is Iman Lubaba till next time and thank you